Hello, my name is Casey Rogers, and I'm with the Autodesk Fusion 360 Evangelist team. For Halloween, I've created this festive pumpkin in Fusion 360, and I'd like to walk you through creating your own pumpkin with a customized cutout in the front. So, I'm going to close my file here and show you how to upload the pumpkin I provided in the link in the description of this video. Go ahead and download the .f3d file in the description and place it somewhere like on your desktop. I'm going to click Upload and select Files and select Pumpkin.f3d. Going to click Upload and in 10 or 30 seconds I'll be back with uploaded file. Alright, so the upload's finished. I'm going to close this window and double click on the pumpkin file in Fusion. Now that the file is open, you're welcome to play around with my design and look through it and customize as you'd like. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how to cut a shape out of the front of the pumpkin to turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. If you go to the timeline down here, you'll find this sketch named Wolf Example. Let's double click to enter and look at it. Here I have my wolf cutout, which I used for the example. You can create your own cutout. To create your own cutout, go to the wolf canvas in the timeline and double click on that. Press the select image icon and pick an image of your choice. For example, I could choose to cut out these people and make a jack-o'-lantern in the silhouette of two people. Now I'm going to stick with my original wolf so I'll hit cancel but you go ahead and find your own silhouette and then we'll move on to the next step. Once you're ready to cut out the silhouette go into the wolf example sketch. Go ahead and delete my sketch here. We can do that by hiding the pumpkin, by hiding bodies, selecting the entire sketch and pressing the delete key. Now that the sketch is gone, we can bring the pumpkin back. For the sake of this example, I'm going to make a very quick face and create the face without a stencil. I'm going to enter the line tool and create my sketch. I'll be back in 30 seconds. So here's my simple face to cut out of the pumpkin. Now I'm ready to click Stop Sketch. I can display the sketch by clicking on the Sketch drop down, going to Wolf Example, and clicking on the light bulb to display the sketch. We're now ready to cut into the pumpkin. We can do that by going to the Create menu and selecting Extrude. Select all the profiles in your sketch and drag into the pumpkin. Make sure not to drag too far or else you'll cut out the other side of the pumpkin. I found 35 millimeters is a pretty good distance to cut, but if your stencil is larger or smaller than mine, you may have to cut more or less. As you can see, the cut goes perfectly through the pumpkin and does not go too far, so we are going to click OK. Now we have our perfect cut out in the front and we are ready to render. Click on the Model tab and switch to the render workspace. In the render workspace, you can change your settings to match mine, or you can change your set the settings to whatever you prefer. I've selected sharp highlights with 1000 LX for brightness, and I've set the focal length to 82 millimeters, the exposure to 9.5, and I've turned on depth of field. Depth of field creates a nice attractive blur around the edges of your pumpkin. I chose the blur settings to be 0.5. Make sure to select the arrow here and click somewhere on your pumpkin to set the center of focus. The green dot is now the center of focus. We can now start a render by clicking on cloud rendering. I'm going to set my pumpkin to be 1920 by 1080 for a perfect wallpaper. Start rendering. 